In this tutorial, I will explain what a module operation is. What is a module operation? If you divide 7 by 5, the value is 1 and the remainder is 2. Because 1 times 5 is 5, plus 2 is 7. The remainder 2 is the result of a module operation. If you are only interested in the remainder, the mathematical notation is 7 mod 5 is 2. This notation is pronounced as 7 modulo 5 is congruent to 2. This symbol means congruent to. In this example, the value 5 is called the modulus. The purpose of applying a modular operation is to keep the resulting value, which means the remainder, within a certain range. Here's an example. The modulus is 5. As you can see over here, the value is increasing. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. If you look at the resulting value, the resulting value never exceeds the value 4, and that's the purpose of applying a modular operation. The value never exceeds the modulus minus 1. 14 mod 5 is 4, because 14 divided by 5 is 2, and the remainder is 4. 19 mod 5 is 4, because 19 divided by 5 is 3, and the remainder is 4. Summarized, n mod p is the remainder, and the remainder lies between 0 and p minus 1. For instance, if the p is 5, the remainder value lies between 0 and 5 minus 1 is 4. So 0 and 4. Here's an example of a modular operation. You know that whatever happens over here, the result will be a value between 0 and p minus 1. If you find the modular operation hard to understand, you can look at the modular operation at a different way. A modular operation is also called the clock operation. In this example, the modulus is 5, so I've divided this clock in 5 pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 0 mod 5, 0 mod 5 is 0. 1 mod 5, 1 mod 5 is 1. 2 mod 5, 1, 2 mod 5 is 2. 3, 1, 2, 3 mod 5 is 3. 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 mod 5 is 4. 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mod 5 is 0. 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mod 5 is again 1. 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 mod 5 is 2. 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mod 5 is 3. And 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 mod 5 is 4. If I use the modulus 5, the remainder lies always between 0 and 4. If I take the modulus of 8, the remainder will always be a value between 0 and 7. If I take the remainder 10, the remainder lies always between 0 and 9. The purpose of this video is not to teach you how to do modular arithmetic, but just to explain what the purpose is of a modular operation. Here are some uh, examples of a modular operation. In this equation, lambda will be a value between 0 and p minus 1. In this equation, the value will always be a value between 0 and p minus 1. In this equation, the value will be a value between 0 and p minus 1. 